Hey, what's going on, guys? Tyson Dilla Cruz here. Thank you guys so much for joining me um, on this uh, on this little episode of this thing. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, mindset is everything, uh, especially when you're talking about these real estate properties and and looking for these specific acquisitions. Um, mindset is everything. These videos are going to be a little bit shorter in duration. So they're going to be like little micro bites, two to three minute, just kind of inserts, just to kind of keep the flow going, you know, because uh, if you're kind of stagnant, it's it's just a shitty class. I don't want to I don't want to be known for shitty classes. So here we go. Mindset is everything. I love these colors, man. These colors just came out so great. All right. So <clears throat> little quick story. I've been flipping since 2015. Um, I, I flipped a lot of homes. I've wholesaled a lot of homes. I've acquired a lot of assets uh, creatively. And throughout this process, I never, you know, when I first got into this space, my original intention was to make money. And once I made a bunch of money and make a bunch of money, it's like, now what? Now, now what? You know, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but the baseline of Maslow's hierarchy of needs are food, sleep, relationships, sex, shelter. Like that's the baseline of this pyramid. And as you begin to grow in the wealth space or income space, you move on to uh, Maslow's second hierarchy of needs. And then as you progress in this period, eventually it becomes this space where uh, it's a space of, of service, um, more so than just making money because you understand the, the energies of money and it comes easy to you. So then from that point, it's like, how can you serve others and, and still be fulfilled? So uh, the reason why I have this slide up with this road is to think about your end game. And I never really thought about the end game uh, until I met my mentor, out, one of my mentors out in Seattle. Um, I had flipped like 55, 60 homes that year. And uh, I was talking to him and and I said, he, he had asked me how many homes I flipped. I said, you know, I think it was like 55. I said 55. And then he goes, well, how many of those did you keep? And at the time, I only kept one. And he goes, man, you're, you ain't, you ain't nothing but a high paid agent. And, uh, and he said something, he was like, man, when are you going to stop being, when are you going to stop being rich and start being wealthy? And for him, he has over 200 doors, which is incredibly inspiring, uh, 200 doors of rental properties. And that's a lot. So, uh, you know, I, I took that and I was like, wow, I could have transitioned over and kept a lot of these properties, the ones that I sold. So the reason why I pose this question to you guys is because you don't want to be hustling and on this fucking hamster wheel, like trying to chase the next deal uh, five years, six years into this space. The intention is to uh, create monies while you're sleeping. You want to have passive monies coming in when you're sleeping or when you're sick. And then at this point, then you get to have the freedom option and choice to work with and work how you choose. You know, you don't have to pick that shitty client. You can choose not to work with them because you're raising your standards. Anyways, what's your end game? Like whether it's passive income, you know, creating a flipping empire, wholesaling empire, whatever the scenario is, like what is the end game? For me, it's passive income. I, I want... The, the intention is to have rental rentals, bunch of rentals. Now, what are you doing all this for? Are you doing it for yourself? Are you doing it for your family? Are you doing it to survive? And if you're doing it to survive, that's totally cool. Because at some point that that's going to transition out. Um, what will it mean to you when you reach your end game? Like, what will it feel like? What will it be like? Uh, an exercise that I love to do is just kind of ponder or write a letter to yourself or record yourself as if you were five, seven years in the future and you achieved all the things that you wanted to achieve. How would that feel? 
what like what would you do for others once you achieve that end goal and some of these questions like you probably haven't even thought of but just think about them now also if you have that end goal in mind the only movements should be navigated through that specific end goal take the end goal and reverse engineer it if it's rental properties why are, why are you focusing on commercial properties or if it's if it's rental properties why are you wholesaling if it's if, if you're wholesaling to create an income to start flipping and then create and then hold great strategy but keep to that you know give yourself timelines and, and deadlines and get clear get clear on ultimately what what uh what you want to accomplish and uh just as a reminder mindset is 80 percent of it all so uh i think i gave that example in um in an earlier video when you're when you buy a red honda you buy the red honda and then all of a sudden you start seeing all these red hondas everywhere well that's just because you're focused on the red honda so remember what we focus on actually materializes in this space this is a great thing if you guys want to screenshot this or print this out so this is a mindset cycle at the beginning of it um is manifestation so creating cultivating pondering journaling uh actually putting the pen to paper and then focusing on it and then once those focus uh manifestations are are cultivated then it moves into these actual thoughts that occur on the daily basis then it, it moves into emotions and feelings then through those feelings actually become actions so i'm going to leave you guys with that screenshot up this is just a quick quick reminder um and also when you speak to the homeowners or you're making a bunch of calls or you're making a bunch of offers and they're not successful just remember to keep your eye on that prize man uh kobe bryant michael jordan they they practiced a lot they practiced a lot mike tyson practiced a lot along with their amazing talent each of you guys have amazing talent uh still continue to practice and sharpen those blades Guys, I will see you on the next video.